Greetings, greetings. My hey, sister. Salaamu Alaikum, Namaste, it's the same, Bawani, and the list goes on. My name is Kai Kotesha and you are here on the Ayami channel. Welcome back to our winter series, a series created for us to discuss how we can use resources for our hearts, for our minds, for our bodies as we go through the colder season. So with that being said, I genuinely want to ask us to ask ourselves, how are we today? So let's just do that exercise really quickly. I'm going to give you five seconds seconds and check in with yourself i'm gonna join okay here we go yeah so please do me a favor share how you're feeling okay so let's start today's topic is seasonal affective disorder Seasonal affective disorder is when you essentially have a drop in your serotonin levels due to the lack of exposure to sunlight. This is on a spectrum, so it can be mild and hardly noticeable, or it can be full out depression. According to the NHS website, some of the symptoms are a persistent low mood, a loss of pleasure or interest in normal everyday activities, irritability, feelings of despair, guilt and worthiness, worthlessness, feeling lethargic, um, sleeping for longer than normal, Every three out of a hundred people in the UK will at some stage go through this. It usually starts between the 20s to 30s, but children can be affected too. And women are four times more likely to suffer from seasonal affective disorder. So obviously you can see why I think it's a really important subject. As usual, I'm going to start off with my own experiences and then I'm going to offer what I've been using. So unlike most of my videos where I know that these actually work, this is something that I still struggle with so I don't know when I started suffering from seasonal affective disorder um, all I know is I was at uni and I was struggling like I struggled throughout uni but I was noticing luckily for me I was studying psychology and I think that was a such a lifesaver I'm gonna share a personal story um, not that I feel like a trigger warning is needed but this might feel uncomfortable for others so ask your mind if you feel okay if not no problem um, offer yourself grace and excuse yourself from this part of the video I was in my second year of uni and I was going to a lecture room from a neighboring uni I had been there every week for the last year and so I knew this place um, I was working in Gap on Oxford Street I had to wake up at like 5 a.m. to get there for my shift that started at 8 I finished my shift I was going to uni I couldn't find the place I could not remember how to get there so I didn't think anything of it I asked the security guard he touched over directions and I still couldn't make it there then I realized I'm gonna be late for my class I actually left early but I was like I'm gonna be late for my class so maybe the walk was about 15 minutes I've been walking for 25 minutes and I just thought oh I must be tired that's when I realized I've been walking for 40 about 40 minutes and I started to become uncomfortable but being the person that I am I was like listen me I'm going to that lecture doesn't matter if I'm an hour late I'm going to that lecture I kept on walking around in circles I asked at least five different people how to get there and I couldn't get there it started raining my hands started getting really cold I started um, getting shortness of breath and I had to realize ah oh, this is a mental health crisis like I'm gonna have to fight tonight myself I'm gonna have to fight myself tonight and so as I'm getting the shortness of breath I sat at the bus stop and thought how are we doing this Kaikawa because it's either I continue by this point it's maybe like an hour I've been walking in the rain it's either I continue walking or I go home so spirit just said to me Kaikawa give yourself another 15 minutes you'll find it continued walking and as I'm walking my brain is playing with me you're not gonna get there you can't even get there what's wrong with you you're so stupid da, 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 da. like literally attacking me I'm having to 
physically tell myself one step at a time Kaikoua and you've got this Kaikoua, you've got this Kaikoua, you've got this Kaikoua. Sisters, I did not get to that class that day. I went home, um, I had to go to King's Cross and I just missed the train and I burst into tears. I sat on the floor in the rain crying, 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 crying. It was such, it was difficult for me because I had been suffering from SAD for about three or four years now and again I'm always there's a part of me that's quite competitive and I wanted each year to be a better year so the fact that I had that breakdown it was just like I've lost I've lost in a season like I've lost my mental health I've lost since then each year if it's not one thing it's the other last year I was working like a dog I was working like a full-blown donkey and the main thing was fatigue like I was lethargic all the time I could not get enough sleep first of all I just wasn't sleeping because the amount of work I was doing and then secondly I wasn't getting good quality sleep and so I was tired drained tired depleted over it here are some resources that I've learned and inshallah it can help you sisters the first thing is to cry to bawl your eyes out sometimes the day is too much sometimes life in general is overwhelming and it's a lot and I'll never forget I think I was about six years old Ayanna Van Zant said crying is a filtering system to allow your emotions to detox and then when you've you're back to normal you can absorb the reality and the truth that's in front of you so just cry the second thing is music I actually want to make a whole separate video about music and all art forms that we listen to and how it impacts our being I'm so specific with the music that I listen to matter of fact I'm gonna make a playlist and add it below so you can see some of the positive songs like they might not be the most in fashion but listen the positivity is gonna get you up there um music is absorbed in our subconscious so we have to be so mindful especially when our minds could potentially be playing games with us already we need to feed and nourish and give a surplus of positivity of high vibrations to our mind to allow for us to get through the day the third thing is to go into nature <sighs> So I found out that people that suffer with seasonal affective disorder, they can, they can use a light, a light that will mimic and have a similar impact as the sun. So I googled it hoping that this was going to be the end to all of my worries. Wasn't the light £500? Went for a walk in nature. Oh my god. Mm. Nature, that walk was like a hug, it was like warm soup, it was like the earth saying, come to me baby, I know that you need us, I'm, I'm getting goosebumps, I felt like the trees and the birds and the grass all wanted me to be okay, and just by walking with them, just by being present, just by at least offering myself a time away from all the devices and the laptop and the wifi and this and that, doing that, it brought me back to balance. I was only out there for about 20 minutes, but it was so impactful. So I highly suggest that. I suppose there's somewhat of a correlation with light therapy as well. So I was out in the sun getting a little small sample of vitamin D. Talking of vitamin D, let me go get my supplements. You can take a vitamin D supplement or you can eat mushrooms. An extra tip is if you flip the mushroom upside down, put it on a plate or some kitchen towel and on the windowsill and allow for it to absorb the rays from the sun, it will amp up and boost the vitamin D levels, which is better for you okay so another tip is you know often i'll talk about cycles and seasons and patterns and behaviors if we look at nature we can see that she is in the season of death of slowing down of hibernation of introversion of introspection and we can follow suit so we do this by not pushing ourselves we have this idea that we always have to be go 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 i'll sleep when i die that's you man listen I need time I need space and I need breaks and so what came to me this morning was advise people to sit down before they break down before you have a mental breakdown before you get to that stage of complete overwhelmment before it's too much sit down take daily respites whether that means having to go into the bathroom at work and just get a two minute breather Whatever it is that's in your power, please, 
please exercise it yeah all right so the next recommendation is to move sis i know it's a lot of effort but my theory is human bodies are composed of 70 percent water if you have a glass of water that sits out for three days you're not too inclined to drink the water if that water is fresh spring water that's been flowing and moving it feels better and that's what i'm encouraging like movement doesn't necessarily have to mean banging out gym although i've been going to the gym for the last two three weeks and whoa the results are astonishing i feel so good but maybe that's not for you maybe going for a long walk maybe trampolining maybe a stretch flinging out your yoga mat and just saying i am here so please treat yourself to some form of movement all right so there's a few more things that i want to share i'm just going to run through them we have journaling journaling is a helpful tool to track our progress so if we find ourselves in a rut during this season it's not just out of the blue we knew that there was a level we were going lower and lower and lower and similarly it gives you opportunity to intervene as well if you say for the last three days i felt low boom i'm going to cinema tonight it allows for more awareness we also have romanticizing your life that's been one of my favorite things so when i shower i shower with a candle since it's gotten dark i shower with a candle i make i put some music on truth be told i do that all the time anyway one of the things that i'm yet to do but i look forward to enjoying this winter is creating a safety box i don't know if that's what it's called exactly a me box a safety box my sister who you're going to see in one of my other videos um she introduced this idea of a safety box and what it is it's a box it is a container of all the things that make you feel safe that make you feel well that make you feel at home that make you feel whole again so that could be some fuzzy socks that could be some a candle that could be your favorite movie that could be warm pajamas a sachet of hot chocolate um a video game whatever is important and sentimental to you and your well-being and your mind Put that in that box, put it safe somewhere so that if you feel that you've had an awful day, you know it's all there to make to bring you comfort and to serve you. I take this opportunity that if you're suffering from seasonal affective disorder or any mental health issue, please sis, please seek out professional help. Ain't no shame. The same way how you would go to the doctor, the surgeon, whoever, for our physical health, our minds are just as important so please be your own advocate and find professional help i want to conclude this video with the idea that seasonal affective disorder is a resemblance of life in life there's highs and there's lows sometimes things are flowing so miraculously and sometimes life is shit sometimes it's a challenge sometimes everything is hard but do you know what sis you're gonna get through it eh yes you you you're gonna get through it we are gonna get through it i'm not just talking to you you know i'm talking to myself as well right say it with me we're gonna get through this we're gonna get through this eh, 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 eh. we're gonna get through this we're gonna get through this whilst my hands are out here let's give the last exercise which is a self hug oh with that being said bless up take care you've got this we are going through a season and we're gonna get through this season yeah stay tuned for our winter blues series bless up and i am me in everything